Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you just how I achieved this makeup look that you see here. It has hints of pink, purple, and a little bit of gold, and it features some ColourPop eyeshadows that I have been absolutely loving. So if you're interested in seeing just how I achieved this look, please stay tuned. Alright, first things first, let me go ahead and do something with these brows and then I'll be right back. Much better. I recently got this eyeshadow collection by ColourPop. It is called Polite AF and I am absolutely in love with all of the colors that come in this collection. Here I'm going to show you some swatches on my arm so that you can see the colors and they are just stunning. Love them. Before we get into that, we need a transition color. I'm going to be using this color from the Carly Bybel palette and I'm just going to apply that into the crease of my lid and blend that out. I also used the Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay and applied this color called Buzz to my crease as well just to add some extra dimension to my crease. I'm going for a halo type of eye look, which means having a dark shade on the outer corner of my eye as well as the inner corner of my eyes. So here I'm just applying a dark purple again to the outer corner of my eye as well as the inner corner of my eyes. And then I'm going to apply the light shimmery color in the center of those two dark shades. And I'm just going to keep applying the dark shade until it looks the way that I like it to look and then I'm going to take a clean brush and just blend everything out so that nothing looks really harsh. Everything is supposed to look very seamless and nicely blended. For the star of this show, it is this color from the ColourPop collection called Birthday Girl. It is a beautiful shimmery champagne type of color and I'm going to apply that with my finger to the center of my lid. The ColourPop shadows have a very interesting texture to them. They don't feel like your standard eyeshadow, so they definitely apply the best with your fingers as opposed to a brush. And you can apply it dry or by spraying some Fix Plus, like setting spray or adding some water to your fingertip. It applies good either way. Now you can just add more color wherever is needed so I'm just adding some more of the purple color to my inner and outer lid and I'm going to add some more of the ColourPop eyeshadow to the center of my lid. To move on to the face for primer, I'm using this one by Japanese and just applying that all over my face. And then going in with this MAC Strobe Cream and applying that to all the areas that I will later apply highlighter. This just adds extra glow to the skin and just makes you look really luminous. For foundation, I'm using this one by Makeup Forever. It is their Matte Velvet Plus. This is definitely one of my top three favorite foundations. It looks just so good. I don't know how to explain it. Like it's matte, but it's not super, super matte where your skin looks really dry. Um, and it just gives really great coverage. It looks, it has like a really natural finish and I just really love this foundation. Next, I'm going in with some concealer underneath my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. This will add coverage as well as a nice highlighter. 
and I use my fingers to blend that out. For bronzer, I'm using this one by the company Black Radiance. I got it at Target recently and I absolutely love it. It's a really nice golden color and I can also use it as a blush, which I really like. For blush, I'm using this palette by the online company Juvia's Place and lightly applying these two colors to my cheeks. <laughs> This palette can really provide intense color, so I definitely recommend starting off with a light hand and slowly building your way up for more color coverage if you need. For highlighter, I'm using this one which is also by ColourPop. It is a collaboration that they did with makeup blogger Makeup Shayla and I'm going to apply that in the normal areas that I will apply highlighter which is my cheekbones, above the brow, and down the bridge of my nose. My camera doesn't really pick it up but this highlighter is literally what the name says it is booming. <laughs> I love a good highlighter so I would definitely say start light and then work your way up meaning start with a little bit of product because this product could really be really blinding. <laughs> and just to blend everything in I'm just taking a stippling brush and again just blending everything in just to make sure that the blush, the bronzer, and the highlighter all look good together. Now I'm just taking a light champagne type of color and putting that into the inner corner of my eyes. I just feel like this really adds just a pop of color to every eye look, just adding some type of light color to the inner lids. It just really makes your eyes pop and look a little wider. Here I'm taking that same dark purple color and just applying that along my bottom eyelids just to add some dimension. And this is what the eyes are looking like and the face looking pretty, pretty good. <laughs> and this is the final look, you guys. I also added some ColourPop liquid lipstick to my lips. So this look really had a lot of ColourPop inspirations to it. But um, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe so that I can continue to grow here on YouTube with you guys' support. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye!